Hello, and welcome to another episode of The Literary Lutheran Reads the Psalter with Luther. This episode is for Thursday, and today we read Psalm 77. The 77th Psalm is a psalm of instruction. The psalmist uses himself as an example of how to find comfort when affliction comes and the conscience is troubled as if God is angry with it. He says that he was so troubled that he could not have any sleep or even speak. But this comfort follows. The psalmist can fight off the thoughts with which he futilely suffered, and he can grasp instead the thought of the mighty works of God in the histories of old. Here we find that God's work was to help the miserable, the troubled, and the abandoned, and to throw down the self-secure, proud scoffer, for example, when he delivered the children of Israel from Egypt. For this reason, his paths are called hidden. He is there to help when we think that we are totally abandoned. We should learn this well. God intends by this psalm to show us and teach us his manner of helping, namely, that he never abandons us when things go ill. Instead, we should wait upon his help at that time with the greatest confidence and not believe our thoughts. I cry aloud to God, aloud to God, and he will hear me. In the day of my trouble, I seek the Lord. In the night, my hand is stretched out without wearying. My soul refuses to be comforted. When I remember God, I moan. When I meditate, my spirit faints. You hold my eyelids open. I am so troubled that I cannot speak. I considered the days of old, the years long ago. I said, let me remember my song in the night. Let me meditate in my heart. Then my spirit made a diligent search. Will the Lord, I'm sorry, will the Lord spurn forever and never again be favorable? Has his steadfast love forever ceased? Are his promises at an end for all time? Has God forgotten to be gracious? Has he, in anger, shut up his compassion? Then I said, I will appeal to this, to the years of the right hand of the Most High. I will remember the deeds of the Lord. Yes, I will remember your wonders of old. I will ponder all your work and meditate on your mighty deeds. Your way, O God, is holy. What God is great like our God? You are the God who works wonders. You have made known your might among the peoples. You with your arm redeemed your people, the children of Jacob and Joseph. When the waters saw you, O God, when the waters saw you, they were afraid. Indeed, the deep trembled. The clouds poured out water, the skies gave forth thunder, your arrows flashed on every side. The crash of your thunder was in the whirlwind. Your lightnings lighted up the world, the earth trembled and shook. Your way was through the sea, your path was great waters, yet your footprints were unseen. You led your people like a flock by the hand of Moses and Aaron. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. This has been the Literary Lutheran Reads the Psalter with Luther, and I wish you all a blessed day.